Hey everyone, welcome back to another video of how to make a story game like Airplane. Today I'm going to show you how to add sounds to your game. I've seen many people in the comments want to know how to do this in order to make their games more atmospheric, in order to make them more fun and more interesting in general so today i'm going to show you how to do just that but first don't forget to go ahead and subscribe to the channel go ahead and like this video and let's go right into it so okay for this tutorial i decided to create a model for you guys which is called sounds local script we're gonna go ahead and open it i'm gonna leave the link in the description and yes you're gonna see it pop up inside our explorer we're gonna go ahead and grab it and we're gonna pull it all the way down inside our star player then star character script we're gonna put it there basically what this script does is it takes care of playing the sounds and stopping the sounds in the local side of the player so we can see we will need two remote events uh, for our script so we're gonna go and create those we're gonna go ahead and create those so we're gonna go ahead and go to replicated storage we're gonna insert object and we're gonna create the remote event we're gonna name it exactly like this one right here which is play sound event okay, there we go then we're gonna create another one and again we're gonna name it exactly like the second line right here so we're gonna name it stop sound event there we go okay i'm gonna go ahead and remove the s right here i'm gonna remove this folder right here you don't have to worry about this and there we go okay so now we have our remote event set up so now we can go ahead and go to our game script but first I want you to go ahead and copy these two lines right here we're gonna go to our game script and I want you to make sure I want you to make sure that you paste your two lines where all your remote events are which is for me it's at the top of the script I'm gonna paste them right here and there we go we can now use our remote events so now what we have to do is that we have to create our sounds. So for this one, I'm going to go ahead and create a local happy music. So I'm going to have a happy music. I'm not going to put anything inside yet. And then I'm also going to have a danger music. There we go. There we go. Okay, so now we will need the URL of the sound. So if you don't have a sound, you can go ahead and create it. Uh, if you don't know how to create a sound, you can go ahead and go to Roblox. Then you're going to go to create. Then you're going to go to audio. And then right here, you can go ahead and create any audio you want. Just make sure it's not a copyright sound because as you can tell here, I got I got a sound removed because of copyright, so you have to be careful with that. And it's going to give you an estimated price in Robux in order to publish a sound. You can also go ahead and go to the library uh, and use and use free sounds if you want. Go to the library. then audio and you can go ahead and search for any sound you want if you want to use free sounds if you want to create your own it's totally up to you right now i already have a couple of sounds i'm gonna use so i'm gonna go ahead and search for those inside my toolbox in the four squares i'm gonna go ahead and search for my audio and i'm going to use the party music i'm gonna head I'm gonna go ahead and right click to it then I'm gonna copy the asset URL and I'm gonna paste it right in my happy music then for the danger music I'm gonna go ahead and use I will use my intense shark music so this is what I'm going to use right now like I said you can use any sound you want and there we go now we have both of our sound IDs right here so now we want to play the happy sound just when the game starts. So we're going to go to our challenge intro. 
and in the very beginning we're going to play our happy sound so we're gonna do play sound event fire all clients because we wanted to fire to all the players and then we're gonna add our happy music and we're going to add zero I think zero right here means that it will be infinite and it will be a loop which is that if the music ends it will start over again so it will be infinite okay so we have our happy music right there so now we want when the teacher calls the players into the classroom we are going to play the intense music so we're gonna go ahead and copy this line right here and when the timer starts we're gonna play the music but this time we'll play the danger music we're gonna play the danger music but first you have to make sure that you stop all the sounds before you play that sound so we don't have both of the sounds playing at the same time so we're gonna do stop sounds event that we're gonna fire all clients and there we go this is all we have to do remember every time you want to play a uh, a new sound you have to stop the sounds before unless you want both sounds playing at the same time so let's go ahead and test that there we go so let's just wait for the game to load and let me just make sure I have my volume on Okay, so we forgot to add something. We forgot to add inside our replicator storage. We will have to add a new object. We will add a folder and then this folder we will call it sounds. Okay, so we'll call it sounds and then we're going to test it. So now we just wait and when the game starts, the music should play. Okay, so there we go. We have our party music playing right now. So let's just wait for the other music to start. And there we go. Now we have intense music playing. So we had a change in the music. And we can play with that in order to add any sound one after another so let's go ahead and stop it okay so we have basically our sounds working right now but what happens if we want to add a sound that is not infinite that is not a loop so we're gonna go ahead and create a success sound and i'm going to use a sound i have inside my audio like i said you can use any sound you like it can be free you can add it if you want and this is a sound that will last one second so it will not be infinite it will just play once so let's go ahead and do that let's say that after after the players sit in the chair we're going to play the success sound for everyone so we're gonna do play sound fire all clients then we're gonna do success sound and we just want it for one second so it's gonna play just after just after the timer ends also we want to stop the intense music and we want to play the party music again so let's do happy music again and play it right here actually i want to wait one second and then play it there we go okay so we go ahead and test that There we go, we have our music playing perfectly. I'm a random player. I'm waiting on the classroom and then the music changes. So yeah, we have 20 seconds, the intense music starts playing. Let's just wait, five seconds. We sit right here and the success sound should play.
There we go, we have a success sound and then the party music starts playing again. Okay guys, so that's gonna wrap it up for today. I really hope you liked the video. I really hope it helps to make your game better. And I'm gonna keep making more videos. Remember to like and subscribe if you haven't already and see you in the next video. Bye bye. Oh, 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 oh.